We are given four versions of a document and we need to format each one to look like this. The black paragraph goes first, then the blue text in three columns, with each paragraph in its own column, then the red paragraph. Before you start doing anything with regards to columns, first switch on your ruler on the View tab, as well as your Show and Hide button on the Home tab. Next, we need to move the text into the correct order. So we need to move the red text to the end. Now we simply select the text that we want to place in columns. Go to the Layout tab, Columns, and select the number of columns you want. You'll see Word has automatically inserted continuous section breaks before and after our selection. This makes it possible to have different page layout options such as margins or columns on the same page. If you look at the ruler, you can clearly see how many columns you have. Just look at the difference when I'm in the three column section compared to the one column section. Now all we need to do is to space the columns correctly. Remember, each paragraph in blue needs to start in its own column. To do this, we click in front of the text that we want to move over to the next column and insert a column break. It seems the columns reacted a bit differently than we expected. We still have three columns, you can see that on the ruler, but it's actually pushed back the second paragraph into the first column. All we need to do is to click in front of the second paragraph and insert another column break. And there we go.